crew builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our Jubilee Macaw Parrot here in some pretty awesome Metal Earth Iconics packaging. Now yours might say Premium Series right here, but don't worry, these are the same build. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back we get a look at our model, followed by some instructions on how to build it. Then we have a QR code which we can scan to get a 360 look at our build. This helps us with little bits of detail that we're going to be forming. And then we have a difficulty rating here of about a medium. This can be a little bit misleading as we've seen with some other builds, but it'll be interesting to see how the parrot turns out. Then below we have some really cool information on the parrots. And finally at the bottom we get a look at some other models in the series. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our metal. Cool, look at that. It's in a really neat folder. All right, Groovers, let's go ahead and take all this out and see what we have. And there we go. We have everything out of our package, and it looks like we have about four pages of instructions and a whole lot of metal pieces to bend. But my goodness, the detail on these pieces just looks really awesome, and the colors too. I can't wait to see how it all comes together and, of course, balances on this stand over here. All right, Groovers, let's get out our first couple of pieces. With our cutters away, we have all of our parts needed for the first two pages of building. That's page three and page four. Now our first step has us bending part nine here, that's the blue part nine, in a very interesting shape. It's almost a cylinder, but it has a little bit of a cone on the end. Now I'm going to use Animate Orange's tool to help me roll this around and get the proper shape. You don't want to make any hot spots in this, and it's actually a lot easier than you might think. Because this metal is actually made of what looks like to be brass, it's a lot easier to shape, and also a lot easier to break. Okay, I'm kind of happy with how that's coming along now. Okay, I think I'm going to stop right about there. I'm going to use my tweezers here just to kind of help me round that out a little bit more okay there we go not bad for our first step now once we get other pieces together of course we'll make sure that everything is shaped properly but for now this looks pretty good let's get to step two here which has us doing the same thing just like before we're gonna give it a nice roll There we go, next one. Same kind of a thing. I'm gonna worry about bending my tabs when it comes to actually attaching everything together. Now you might notice I'm not bending my tabs. We're gonna go ahead and do that a little bit later when we have everything shaped. important to keep them in order, that's for sure. Move these guys out of the way here. Just a nice even push. It's almost like kind of cutting some ribbon back in the day, but or at least a very similar action to it, I should say. Stripping ribbon to make that nice little curve. There we go. Now, if you're doing this method like I am, just make sure you're going right to the edges when you're bending this piece or when you're shaping them. That's very important. Again, you'll see I'm starting right at the edge and then pressing as hard as I can to get that really nice shape. That's really good. And you'll have to go back on the other side here too. Back on the other side, boom. That was almost too much at the end there. We'll roll that out. Almost got a hot spot there, you gotta be careful. Leave 
these ones here don't have to be bent as much, I guess, towards the end. And this piece here, we're gonna be a little bit more careful with when it comes to shaping it. And we're not necessarily gonna bend the top here either. Okay, there we go. We got all of our shaping started, and now we need to get them all connected together. And we're gonna start with part number nine here, all the way back at the beginning. And we're gonna take these tabs and we're gonna make almost like a locking mechanism. Going right to the edge, right to the edge, right, right, right to the edge here. Boom, grabbing the tab, bringing it out. Again, right to the edge, bring the tab, boom. It's very important to grab as much of the tab in your tweezers as possible with these steps. You wanna make a good connection later on. Now we can add the next part on here. Starting from the left side. I'm trying to roll this piece in here. It's being a little pesky. Hmm, hmm. Let's try connecting the middle here and then working on the edges. Maybe that will be easier. Middle tab. There we go. Okay, so what we learned there is to start in the middle and then work on the outer tabs. Let's see if that's consistent all the way through here. Again, grabbing our tabs, grabbing as much of the tab in our tweezers as possible, we're pulling them back. Just like this, pulling them back. Cool. Second piece on here. Attaching the middle piece first. Okay. Try bending that tab just a little bit up a little bit and um, to the side and see if that will help me get it into this spot a little easier. It might. So just like before, we're grabbing these tabs and of course bending them back out, making sure we grab as much of a tab as possible. and then we continue on attaching. Now keep in mind, we really do wanna start with the middle one first, and if it helps, you can bend these tabs here left and right to get them into their insertion holes a little easier. Just make sure that you're keeping a good shape the whole way through, and then you're not forcing your pieces too much. You don't wanna accidentally misshape anything, especially these little bottom tail feathers. Now, because this is pretty much the same thing, let's go ahead and fast forward to where I have all of this attached together. Okay, now we've arrived at part number two here. Now this is the first one that we're actually gonna to connect together at the top. Let's see how that goes. Of course, starting again in the middle, working our way over here to the side, and then doing the other side here. Oops, do this real quickly. Let's go ahead and make life a little easier on everybody. And now what we're gonna do is make a locking mechanism with this tab again, grabbing as much of the tab in our tweezers as possible and then bending straight down. And then now we're gonna put this over top. It's gonna hide that tab on the inside and it's also gonna make a really good solid connection. That looks great. Now we can move on to putting our next piece on here. Again, grabbing as much of the tabs in our tweezers as possible. Great. And now we're gonna add that final piece. And like I said, we didn't form that little bit of detail up here just yet. We're gonna do that now. We go in the middle, bend these tabs just a little bit like this. First one in. This tab over here, you can't see it, but I bent it. There we go. And again, on top here, this one's also connected. 
Now, again, we're gonna do the same thing, locking mechanism. We're gonna grab it and put her in. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful, careful. That was not good. Make sure your feathers are on top. You don't want to catch like that. That was, whoo, that was not good. That was not good. Okay, let's try this again here. Maybe we should go ahead and just secure these ones already so we're working with something. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's secure these little guys here. Let's work it through a little bit. Got her. Bend her over. And now, I'm just going to secure that as best I can. Hmm. I'm not a really big fan of this kind of hole that's here. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think that my, maybe my, my forming needs to be a little bit better here. Okay, there we go. I think our shaping looks pretty good here. And now we can move on to the fourth page, which has us bending our first part, part number one here. Look at that head. It looks so nice and the detail too. Really cool. Now, this is our first piece here, and we kind of have to give it some definition. So what I'm going to do to give it some definition is use a new tool, which is used for fondants on cake. I want to see if this is actually any good at shaping some of this stuff, and this seems like a perfect time to try it. Okay, I think that looks pretty neat. Now that we have that kind of shaped, we can grab our part number two here. And this has a small little bend in it. And um, to get that, what I'm going to do is see if I can try doing this. There we go. And I might have to use the uh, parts one and three here to get a better shaping. Let's see how it turns out though. Okay, there we go. I think that looks kind of neat. Gives it kind of a 3D look. I just wonder how hard it's gonna be to actually attach all the tabs together. Why don't we find out right now how hard that will be? Gotta be able to hold on to the pieces first too. Now I'm actually securing them all the way. I gave them a light little twist and that's just to see if everything lines up properly with the other side. Then if everything looks good, I'll go ahead and secure everything down once I have a little bit more of a frame going on. I think that looks pretty good. See if I can secure these tabs properly now. Cool. I think that 3D effect will look really nice as long as it doesn't get in the way of some other parts later on down the road. Let's move on to our next step, which has us attaching the head on to the last piece we were just building here, the actual body. Let's see how well this goes together. I'm gonna need to take these tabs and of course bend them out first though. Let's start with the closed edges first and then work our way back. So that's the front part here. Another one almost in. Well, that didn't work out. Let's try it again. I'm gonna bend this down a little more and then to the left. Okay, that's our parrot head all attached. Now I think for the hardest part, we gotta attach part number four here after we of course get a decent shaping. Now this shape is actually pretty hard to do, but we're gonna do our best guess first, and then we're gonna use the other piece here to kind of help us get the right shape. Now I can already see how this is gonna bend a little bit, so I'm gonna use Animate Orange's tool here to kind of help me a little bit 
with that end. I just don't want to get any cone shape. Okay, there we go. That should be a nice little, nice little bend to start me off there. Okay, and then it pops up. And it pops up basically at the top of this guy right here. So let's do that. And then it kind of bends. So let's try to get another little shaping here going on. Okay. Okay, bend out the back a little bit. There we go. I think that's about the shape we need. Now let's compare it to the actual part that we need to attach it to and see if we can work everything out. I think it might be a little bit of a tight fit with how our head is right now. Try pulling it apart a little bit at a time. Nothing too crazy. I was wondering with how I made that uh, kind of concaved effect on my parrot's face if it was going to cause trouble. And it looks like it is gonna cause a little bit of trouble right here. There we go, got it. The beak is fully done there. I'm gonna go ahead and just secure these. Now, if you accidentally take a little bit of the black paint off, like I just did right there, um, don't worry too much. There's tons of ways to cover that up later on down the road. Right now, let's just worry about getting everything attached. It's unfortunate that paint came off so easily. Okay, that actually wasn't too bad of a shaping, was it? Now let's move it back here. I think that shaping turned out pretty well, especially with just me kind of finishing up the edges here. Looking really good. Alrighty, now we can move on to our next step, which has us forming the feet. And if it's anything like the peacock, these feet can be a little bit challenging too. Let's go ahead and grab part number five here. And now what we're gonna do is grab that tool we were using from earlier and do the same thing we did before. We're gonna roll out the edges. Now we're going to shape these guys here. Now I kind of freehand formed that and it turned out pretty well and I used my multi-bend method to get it done. I highly suggest you do that for yourself as well just because it does make everything a little bit easier. Now we're gonna bend these tabs just a little bit inward and that's gonna help us get these tabs here or these insertion holes in their place. Now once you have those tabs in, let's go ahead and secure them with a nice twist. Now those are hidden and of course we can go back a little bit later and shape anything that we need to. Clean up our detail a little bit. Awesome. And now we're going to clean this up a little bit. You want to try to make sure there's no gaps in anything that you're bending. Uh, this will just make sure that everything looks really nice when we're complete. Again, this is a really beautiful parrot. Let's keep it that way. All right. I like that. That looks actually really nice. Okay. Now we can attach this onto our body here. Let's see here. Making sure, of course, we put it on the right side. That is key. 
You don't want the bird legs to be on the wrong side. That would look kind of silly. There we go. Our, fuss, our first foot attached. I might have to do a little bit more bending there before I'm a little more happy about how that looks. But we have to attach the other foot, so let's get that one all formed up. We're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna go ahead and shape this mainly free form, but we're gonna get the shaping started, of course, with our tool. All right, and there is our second foot shaped. Now we can attach it onto the body, just like we did with our other one. Now, one thing we learned last time, we might have to go ahead and bend that tab a little bit to get this connected correctly. Let's see how much we need to bend this though to get it done. First tab in. Ah, oh, my goodness, so easy, so easy to lose it. Be very careful don't want to scratch your paint here especially on the beautiful body that we have going on here all right okay there we go everything is connected our feet are looking really good too it's really kind of coming along now let's put this down and start working on parts seven and eight these are very simple to do here all we're going to be doing is taking all of the tabs on part seven and bending them up. Just like this. Grabbing as much of the tabs in our tweezers as possible. And then we're gonna use our little detailed tweezers here and we're gonna poke that tab out. There we go. And now we're gonna grab the tab from the center and pull it straight up, just like that. Looking really awesome. Now let's grab part eight. There we go. And part eight here goes just on top. Let's flip it over. Makes seeing the insertion holes a little easier. There we go. Now you'll notice that one side has the brass and the other side has the paint. Let's try to use the paint side first. I think I like that better blends in nicer there we go all of our tabs are bent now we can move on to the front part here same thing again grabbing as much of the tab in our tweezers as possible okay there we go we've completed step 16 and now we need more parts And there we go. We have all of our parts needed for page five and page six. Now page five has us starting off here with part number nine. And we're gonna bend these tabs here at the top right down, just like this. Again, you wanna grab as much of the tab as possible here like we've done before. Let's grab our tail back here. There we go. And now we're gonna attach this detail onto the top. Push this a little bit tight, and there we go. All right, now we're done with our tail. We can put that down for a little bit. And now it's time to shape part 10. Now 10 here is formed a little bit differently than what we've been doing. Uh, we need to actually form these guys down. And we also need to make sure this middle piece here has a nice shape too. Now it's important if you're gonna use your tweezers here to use multiple bends to get the shape that you need. But right now, I'm actually going to try using that fondant tool we used earlier to see how it works out. But uh All right, let's give this a go. I'm gonna actually roll these right here and see if I can get a nice kind of feathery shaping. I think it will work out really nicely, let's see. I want like a natural shape. I don't necessarily want them all uniform, but I definitely want a good shape. 
<laughs> Look at that definition it gave me. That looks really cool. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can go a little closer here, though. Okay, now we got to do the middle part. And this middle part's a little bit different than everything else. So let's see if we can kind of work this out a little bit. I don't, I don't want to press too hard because it'll put some definition in the metal that we don't want. So let's see if I can get it here. Okay, I think we got a good start to our shape that we're going to need. I'm going to go ahead and start bending my wings up just a little bit. I'm going to use my tweezers here to help me out. Um, you'll notice I'm using multiple pens to do this. I really do want to try to get the best shaping possible. I want my bird to look really nice. Okay, we got a good shape here, I think. Now we got to add this onto our body, which I think will be a little harder than you expect. Let's see here. Hmm. I'm going to bend these up a little bit more. There we go. There's our left side. And I got a feeling this side here might be a little bit more difficult. I'm going to go ahead and secure the one side with a temporary twist here. Just like that. And then now I'm going to push this side around here and see if I can't get it inside the slots. Again, you gotta be really careful with this step. You don't wanna accidentally misshape your bird. And there we go. Nice and secured. Okay. Now we gotta get these back tail guys here. Maybe we should try to do those at the same time. I actually kind of forgot about them. So, we'll see how difficult it is to get these guys in. I gotta bend these feathers out too. You gotta kind of push it up in there and then also bring this guy back. That's an interesting little tab trying to put in there. I would maybe start with the back ones first and then work your way up to these ones to avoid having to do what I'm doing right now, which is really struggle to get these back ones in. Woo! That is a tricky little bit, that's for sure. And you gotta be really careful here not to get a hot spots when you're forming that back body piece. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good here. Just gonna form out that back a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Now you may wonder why I haven't attached this back piece yet. And there's good reason. I wanted to see how much I need to bend it and shape it before I attached it to the main body. And now I can see I need to do quite a bit. So let's go ahead and flip this over and I'm going to roll it just like I've done with these pieces here to try to match that body the best I can. Let's start like this. I'm gonna go like this, just try to get a nice little rolling. And then there we go. Again, I'm gonna try to get that main body kind of look. Maybe do a little bigger one. And I also kind of want to do these feathers a little bit too because I want to bring out that individual feather look. Okay, there we go. I'm going to, have to shape this a little bit more here. And this might be a pain in the butt to get in now that I've done it like this, but we'll see. I'm going to bend all of these feathers out of the way and then I'm going to attach it. do have to kind of reach in here to get this nice and attached. I don't know if I would recommend doing what I did necessarily. Um, if you're new to metal model building, um, that is a, uh, a very hard thing to do what I did there. And 
with this particular build, with the kind of metal that it is, you really don't want to bend it too much. And uh, I'm just saying now, you, I would really follow the instructions, attach the tail first, so that you have a good connection and don't have this um, kind of bending like I do. I'll be able to fix this a little bit later. I'm just saying, work it out a little bit differently, follow the instructions, and uh, you won't have to worry about having to do what I just did, which was incredible amount of forming and working it out to get it to work. Okay, with our parrot looking awesome, let's go ahead and place this down for now. And now we're gonna start working on the feathers. Now these are extremely repetitive. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is form the whole thing, I'm gonna do a couple of them, and then I'm gonna fast forward to where I have them all connected together. Let me show you how we do this. Now, as I've said before with these pieces, it's very important to grab the tab as close as we possibly can to the piece and then bend it straight down. That's very important. Now that we have this done the way we need to, we can grab the next piece here. And again, making sure it's properly orientated to the instructions, we are going to attach things in. Now, this tab here on this part gets bent up. Cool. And now we're going to bend it down. Now I'm going to try to make sure that we bend it with the color because again, we want to make sure this looks as nice as possible. Hiding the tabs is our goal. The silver side doesn't really, or the uh, bronze side, it doesn't really matter so much. But this side here, it's very important that we get the colors correct. We want everything to look nice. Okay, let's move on to our next step here. Whoops. Same thing as before. Orientate the piece correctly. Bend this down. Now we're adding this onto the front side this time. A little bit different than last time, I guess. There we go. Just adding to those feathers. Okay, and that's our first set there done. Now we need to do a little bit more here, and we're gonna keep on by adding all these together onto our model. It's very important that we make sure that we put them on in the proper order. And of course, if you are having all of these pieces cut out, make sure you keep them in the proper order so they don't get mixed up and you attach this whole thing incorrectly. Okay, let's fast forward to where this whole thing is already built. Okay, and that is our last piece. Awesome. And now with all of our feathers attached, we're gonna need more parts. Okay, now we have all of our pieces needed for page seven and eight, and it looks like we have a ton of feathers to do. Now, this is very repetitious. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few of them, and then I'm gonna skip to where I have everything already complete. Now, as what we did before, we're gonna go ahead now and grab part 17 here, and we're gonna bend this down, and then we're gonna grab our wings from earlier here. Again, making sure we're doing this with the proper orientation, we're gonna attach our pieces together. Again, just keep following the same pattern as before. Building a wing. Building a wing. This is why we skip things. Because no one wants to hear me sing. Okay, last time with this guy here. Bend that one up, come to this side, bend the red one down. There we go. And now place them in. Talk about repetitious detail, guys. <laughs> but honestly, repetitious detail can be okay, especially if we get good payoff. And I think we're about to have it with this. That looks awesome. Okay, and now with all of these guys done, we need to bend these tabs up. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, going right to them and bending them straight up. Awesome. Now we're gonna grab our little piece here. 
This is part 11. There we go. Had a hard time picking it up, but we got her. And now we're going to attach it on. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. There's our second one. I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, secure these ones as we go. Just because I feel like they're going to be moving around when I go and secure the other ones. It'll be really hard to get everything in place. Hmm. This is difficult. My goodness. Normally, I would have this done already, but this is actually being a little bit of a challenge. And it's because everything really does have to be lined up nicely. This detail and, of course, this really flimsy metal doesn't make things any easier either. Um, now i got to get this tab into this little insertion hole here, which really stresses the metal out. It almost feels like it's not in the right place. But I did double check my work to make sure that everything is correctly bent and in the right shape. Okay, now we gotta bend these out a little bit. Interesting, it really does want to kind of bend. Okay. Let me see if I can roll this a little bit and get a nice finish here. Now he's got to bend these tabs down and these guys up. Okay, and there we go. We've completed everything for page eight. Now we need more parts. Ah, more feathers. This build is all about the feathers. But before we get to our second wing with all of these pieces right here, we need to work on our first wing and finish it up. That starts with page 9 and part 12 over here, which is completely brass. Now what's very important here is we need to flip this over, and on the non-engraved side, we need to actually bring these feathers up. So let's bring that fondant tool back over here and get those feathers nice and rounded. Again, we don't want everything to look the same because this is actually a very unique bird, right? So we want to make sure these feathers are kind of random in their shaping. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Now let's add that on to what we've already formed here. Maybe I formed that the wrong way. Let's do this like this just to kind of correct that notion. Give them again that little bit of a look really weird. I, I must have looked at the instructions a little bit differently, but there we go. We've, we've gone ahead and we've got her shaped up now. Now let's take our piece that we have nicely shaped and of course add it on. There we go. There we go. Looking great. Okay, let's just bend that down like that. Same thing with the other side. And boom. Cool. Okay. I like the definition that kind of added here. Uh, let's move on to our next piece, which has us adding some definition on the top. That's with these guys right here. Now, it's very important, same kind of thing. What we want to do is we want to add that little bit of definition. We're going to do that with our pieces here. Now, you know, I actually have some smaller ones to try out. Maybe that would be a better option right now. These guys might be a little too small, but we'll give her a go. Now, just like before, what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these tabs and we're going to bend them up. Again, going right to that edge, 
grabbing as much of the tab as possible in our tweezers and bending it up. This last little guy here gets bent down. Okay, let's try adding this together. Now, sometimes I'm finding that these guys are just a little bit out of the way. I just take the, uh, the tab underneath and just kind of bend it. You may not be able to see that on camera, but I'm just bending it slightly to the left or to the right, depending on what direction the uh, insertion hole is. Here we go. And our last one here needs to be bent forward or towards me a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think with those feathers being bent up like that, it kind of makes the, uh, the part almost bend in. But I think I'll be able to shape it out the way I need to a little bit later with that. Okay, now let's add on our next piece. Again, we're gonna bend these tabs up. And the last tab we're gonna bend down. And then just like before, we're going to start from one side and work our way over. Also securing the tabs as we go. Okay, and that's all of our tabs bent down and our first wing complete. Look at that. The color looks so amazing and all that detail too. Okay, now we need to work on our second wing, which is the same thing as our first wing. So let's go ahead and just fast forward to where we're basically completing this side. Okay, and there is our last tab. Now what we're gonna do is just bend all of these guys down like that. That was a lot of repetition, so many feathers. But look at that awesome work. I mean, again, this detail on these wings just looks so awesome. All right, now those aside, we now have to work on our stand. Now, yes, we did skip a lot of the instructions, and that's just because this is very repetitious. You build one wing, you can build the other one. It's just a lot of the same kind of connections. So now we're on to our stand, and you'll notice that the stand here has this protective paper. This just protects it from getting scratched up. It's a good thing to take it off before you connect everything together. So let's go ahead and do that. Paper's a pain in the butt, unless you have tweezers. There go. Okay, now this guy here is just gonna go right on top of this guy. Boom. Put this right in the center. There we go. Now for this guy here. Almost all in one, almost all in one. Now this goes just right on top here. All right, and there's our stand all complete. Looking really nice, especially with all of that tape off. Now we need to attach our wings onto our parrot. If I can get this last little bit of tape, there we go. Now we gotta attach our wings onto our parrot. This could be a little bit tricky. Let's grab our parrot. And now we're gonna start with our right wing first. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna start with the innermost wing and then work my way to the outside. I think this might be my best bet. 
Okay. So I'm starting to get the ones on the outside first. The innermost tab here is blocked, not necessarily by a whole lot of metal, but I'm definitely gonna have to shape some things around a little bit in order to be able to get that tab in. Also, the tabs here in the back are gonna require me to move the metal around too. So let's attach these ones out here first and then work our way to the inside. I'm gonna guide some of these tabs in using some of my detail tweezers here. Just gonna really push these guys in here to get that last little tab in and there we go awesome okay now we're gonna just push that in and then grab that back one here or that one that's really close to the center of our parrot and just make sure it's really connected I feel like that one will come out and then what we're gonna do is just go over our wings and make sure all those other tabs are also connected very important okay I think that's all of the front tabs here done all through here. Now we need to work on the back ones and these might just be as tricky as this one right here was. The back one will be the easiest. It's the center one which will be tricky especially with this little uh, feather right here in the way of that insertion hole. Feather temporarily up and out of the way but just make sure you don't get a hot spot when you do that. Alrighty, well there we go. That back one, like I said before, is super easy to get the back one. It's just that middle one is definitely a fight. I'm gonna twist that guy. There we go. Look at that, that's so cool. Okay, let's put the other wing on now. And uh, we know this time to start from the outside and then work our way in. Okay, I think with that last little twist there, we have our bird here all complete. My goodness, this thing looks awesome. And I'm definitely gonna have to work on a little bit more of the detail work here to try to get the way I like it. But man, so cool. Again, when you're playing with these uh, feathers here on the back and you're just kind of forming everything out here, everything doesn't have to be perfect. You actually want things to be a little bit different because the bird would not be perfect itself. And there we go. We have our parrot complete. And this build really does look amazing. I mean, just look at the, all the colors and the detail, how everything plays with the light, especially on the bottom here. All that gold just looks beautiful. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Will our bird actually kind of sit here without falling? Yes, he does. Look at that. Our parrot all complete. 